what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and welcome to another reaction video so today's video we are watching a video that i saw someone else reacting to not this specific video but a video from this person uh and the creator is i called i did a thing and the video today that we're reacting to is i made your worst videos video ideas this actually ought to be interesting so, I guess we're going to see what kind of uh, crazy ideas some people have had that he's going to make. And we're going to see how bad it is. And, we'll, and we will rate how bad they are. So, as always, link in the description to the guy's video if you do want to check it out. And check out his channel too without me rambling on. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. Okay, the first suggestion comes from Coping Molding Truth 43 on Twitter, who wants me to make a pressure bidet. washer bidet, which sounds hilarious and will finally allow me to properly clean my ass. So, I'm going to start with a cheap bidet and a cheap pressure washer. And I'm hoping I can just plug this straight into my into ass, your ass and it will work. But after turning on the pressure washer and seeing how strong it is. No, don't stick it up your ass. I'm not sticking it up. I decided against that and wanted to see if I could plug the pressure washer directly into the bidet. Woo. And it didn't destroy the bidet like I thought it would. The bidet just didn't let the high pressure water through, which is actually a good thing because otherwise I would have made a hole in my foot. So I'm going to have to upgrade all these crappy plastic parts to high pressure hose. Nor have I. And I've never actually used a bidet before, but I've heard from others that have that they work really well and feel a bit like your own personal <laughs> slave that spits water on your ass. So I'm very excited to try one. And after taking apart the bidet and having a proper look inside, I think I'm just going to have to replace everything as it's all low quality plastic. And the original bidet has two nozzles, one for normal people and the other for women. So I'm only going to make a one hold nozzle and I'm going to do that by just welding a pipe to this high pressure hose fitting which will have this little plunger inside that will move out as the water pushes it and will then squirt water out of this little hole. And after giving it a quick test, huh. it worked really Impressive. well at low pressure with no water coming out of the gaps. So I turned on the pressure washer to see if it would explode. Okay, power washer on. Three. Ha! Huh. And I've now realized I've ass, made a big mistake. Like, oh. I purchased the wrong fitting and the hose is never going to properly attach. So instead of doing the right thing and just buying a new one, I tested my luck by attempting to weld the high pressure plastic hose directly to the no, fitting. No, it's not that dumb. This is such a dumb idea. Which actually seemed to work as I was constantly keeping the metal cool. So I tested it again. Five, four, three, two. Ooh. You just have that point at your ass? Ooh. And that actually worked really well. So I installed it into the bidet and sprayed the whole thing white. And I'm not going to install this on an inside oh. toilet as I've already Jesus. made enough holes in the ceiling. So I test fitted it on this chair outside and it actually feels as nice and comfortable as a normal toilet. Which means it was time to use mm. the bidet. Godspeed, my man. Godspeed. And I'm going to test it first on this pig belly, which I've heard makes a really accurate ass substitute. Three, two. And that worked amazingly. The bidet managed to clean all the way through the pig belly, removing the fat and meat. This is disgusting. There is, there is meat everywhere. But it still didn't cut it cleanly in half like I was hoping. So I'm going to give the bidet an easier challenge, this apple. Ew. This is 
Isn't that a mango, though? I wouldn't have that anywhere near my ass. And this would definitely clean my insides. 8 out of 10. Ha! Huh. Okay, the second suggestion comes from Ryan, or as I like to call him, Ryan. And he suggests replacing the blades on a ceiling fan with knives. And I've already replaced all my kitchen knife blades with ceiling fans, which works great. Huh? But I've never thought of doing it the other way around. So I'm excited. And the first thing I need to get is a ceiling and then a fan. C ceiling and this fan one was knives? a nice cheap one, but it means I need to put Excuse it together. Me? So I opened up the box and then got the instructions and put them in the bin. And then followed them from there. And after connecting the blue wire to the blue wire, the green wire to the green wire, and the brown to the brown, it didn't work. So I skipped using this speed controller and just borrowed a power cable. And then connected it directly to the fan, which means the fan only has one speed, on. And now that I have a fan that spins, it's machete time. Whoa, 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 ah! So I pulled off the plastic handles, then welded a dodgy like braced machete before attaching them to the fan. And this is already terrifying. That is a dangerous But not weapon. as terrifying as my inability to count how many blades a fan actually has. And I now have an extra machete. If anyone wants it, it's in this bush right here. Okay, now time to strap this to my ceiling. Huh. <laughs> I was about to say, I think I think you got it, man. You got something in your mouth, did you? Is it going to stay? I don't like that sound. This is terrifying. It's so silent in the air, almost like the blades are so sharp that they are just cutting right through it. Let's chuck some stuff into it. You know, I was hoping he would. And to do that, I made this little safety fortress. <laughs> oh God! I wasn't really happy with the angle I had to throw the fruit at, so I repositioned my fortress right under the fan. Five, four, three, two. Oh god, just imagine like you like stick your finger like up for oh And I that keep was thinking y'all can see my hand, but y'all can't. But not fun while I was there. I was imagining my welds snapping and the blade flying out and shooting through my barricade at any moment. But besides that, it did Honestly, a great job of cutting too. fruit. 9 out of 10. Alright, this comes from Zoe Possum, who wants great me to get system. a jackhammer and put a rubber pad on the bottom and footholds on the side, creating the world's most terrifying pogo stick. And I already know this is going to scramble my brain, but I can't resist making it. And I'm also killing two birds with one stone, as Ludwig requested I also make a device that can finally help the short fellow jump high enough to dunk, <laughs> which seems impossible, but I'll give it a shot. So the first thing I did was go to the local store and bought these bolt cutters. Then I waited till night. Oh. Okay. Okay, just climb out the window. And went down to the closest construction site. And then borrowed this. 
<laughs> and I didn't really have a choice of jackhammer, so I grabbed this one, which is very noisy. Jesus. That's so noisy. But luckily, I can just put on ear protection. <laughs> Now at the moment, it has this sharp chisel at the bottom, which would be similar to jumping in stilettos. Sexy, but not efficient. So I'm gonna make a giant metal foot to increase the surface area. And for reference, I took a photo of my foot. What the fuck? That is a very nice That's foot. That's a great foot. Thank you. Yes, it is. Let's take a moment and to look at the picture. Cut out this. <laughs> the fuck? And then welded some extra support metal oh, on top so it's strong enough to handle the jackhammer. Then I welded a piece of pipe on the foot so the jackhammer can slip neatly into its new shoe. And the foot is done. But now I just need somewhere to put my feet. And I don't want to permanently attach anything or weld to the jackhammer, as I actually plan to give this back to the construction site once I'm done. So I got a piece of wood and made a hole in it and then put a clamp underneath and a heap of duct tape and kept wrapping it around until I created this horrible Jesus mess. Christ. This is not good. And I fixed ah! it. And that's done. So now I just need to turn this terrifying thing Yeah, construction thing workers are going to be on. wondering what's, what that's doing there. I don't think this is going to work. It's not It's not going to work, man. This sucks. I don't think it's gonna work, bud. I can only and imagine what the neighbors all of my welds, right now. And I could re-weld it, but there was absolutely no jumping happening, and all it did was really hurt my wrists and ankles, which didn't even look funny on camera. Zero out of ten. Well, yeah, throw in the trash. Okay, the final suggestion comes from Hey Jack, who wants me to make solar panel glasses. And his intention here is to blind me by solar making me stare into glasses. the sun. Which I'm willing to do, as everyone knows there's nothing more entertaining than a blind person. Now I could put half transparent solar panels directly over the lens of the sunglasses, which would look more aesthetic, but would be hard to do. So instead, I'm just gonna 3D print some sunglasses with mounts on top and then use these tiny solar panels, which I just took from the roof of this tiny house, which I'll mount on top. Huh. And I figure this will actually look pretty acceptable as sunglasses, as if people are willing to wear these, which make you look but like a pedophile. Point? I'm talking to you, what, Andrew. The these don't look bad in comparison. Looks like Jeffrey and Dahmer. you know how I just said I'm going to 3D print these glasses? No, what, I forgot that I broke this, my 3D printer by shooting it a couple of videos ago. So instead I used my 2D printer and just printed these out. Then I cut down this piece of PVC pipe and straightened it with a heat gun. And then heated it again so I could mold it perfectly to the shape of the sunglasses. Then I got the tiniest drill bit I'm legally allowed to own and made a hole. And then watched this video on YouTube to see where I threw away those small screws at the beginning of the video. And stuck it all together. And a quick spray paint. And it's done. So now let's say I'm standing in the sun. And I'm feeling a little too hot Idiots would just move to the shade, but all I need to do is attach my little fan to the sunnies and then stare directly into the sun until the fan starts moving, cooling me down. Does that actually work? Three, two, one. Give me that win. Oh, give me that win. Oh, it works. 
It's also great for charging your phone. All I had to do was swap over to this charging port and then stare into the sun for two hours to get 1% charge extra on my phone. Okay, ready? So I'm looking down, no charge. What hap watch what happens when I look up. Moment of truth, moment of truth, here we go. Is it doing anything? Yeah, okay, it's making the thing now. Wonderful. Okay. This is just torture, this is horrible. Six out of 10. Which means just, Ryan is the winner uh, with the ceiling machete hey dude, fan. Ryan, oh, please you know, send me your full name, phone. address, and credit card details, including the CVV, to receive your prize. Alrighty, that those were pretty interesting. Uh, I think the uh, the machete fan, ugh, that that one put me on edge because I was I was waiting I was waiting for one of those blades to just go flying off, just whoosh. But no, it didn't happen. He did a good job on that. I give, I'd actually give that a 10 out of 10. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the video. It, pretty interesting creations that he made. Uh, pretty interesting. Ne something I never would have thought I'd see someone make. But either way, thank you guys for joining me in this video. If you did like it, do be sure to hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos I have come out on the channel. Just like some more reaction videos. I love you guys. And like always, stay awesome. Later, guys.